Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about using solid tools and a couple other native tools to make some tables. So we have a video up from a number of years ago where uh, we use the same profile twice to make um, some different uh, tables using solid tools. It's a good uh, video. You guys actually liked it. It was very well, you know, people watch it, really liked it, but um, it was kind of basic. So I wanted to run through a couple things, answer a couple questions that came up from that video, and uh, maybe just refresh the topic. So let's hop in. Okay, so I, I did not record, or yeah, I didn't record this part of making this shape right here. Super basic. Um, basically what I started with was a rectangle that was the height I wanted this table to be and half the width. And then I just drew this profile with negative or, or with native tools. So some lines, this was a circle. Uh, down here I have an arc going one way and an arc going the other way and then an arc coming back. So this is actually just three arcs. And then same, I did the same thing, I traced the back, another one arc, two arcs, gave me this foot or this leg. Uh, so that's all I did. So um, Sumele was just here to, to hang out Give me some scale, but I can I can get rid of that now. I get rid of her. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece right here. I'm going to come up here and hit the up arrow, and then use the option modifier key to copy that around the other direction. All right, and there's my profile. I'm going to grab this and make it a group. I'm not really not not component. I'm not worried about components because I'm not going to really repeat this. So right now it's just a group. I'm going to make a copy of this and just set it over to the side like that. I'm going to take this one, push pull it to give it some depth like that. So one of the things that's happening right now, you can see I have these breaks right here. See there, there, and then the other side I have this. Uh, if I come in here, of course, I can hit my modifier key to smooth those out. If you want to get rid of those beforehand, one thing you can do if I come into this, if I grab my arcs, so I told you this is three arcs, one, two, three arcs, I can right click and weld that. If I weld it, then when I push pull it, I won't get those extra lines there. So just a little little, little bonus note on how, how to clean that up because we, you see that a lot. And, and I know it's not a big deal to go clean things up, but if you're doing this over and over and over again, it can be, we're gonna make two or three tables out of this. So I figure that's a quick thing to fix. All right, so I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna rotate it along the middle of this. So I'm gonna go into rotate. Uh, I'm gonna find the middle here, drag it down this way. I'm gonna come up here, find the middle here, drag it down this way till I find the intersection. I'm gonna take it, option, modifier key to make a copy. All right, there we go. And this, this was the simplest part of the whole thing to make this little, this would be an end table right here. Um, I can come over here and we'll go to view tool palettes, solid tools, turn that on. And then we'll grab both of these at the same time. And tool palettes, we're gonna use the difference. I'm sorry, the intersect. I forget the names of these tools. Honestly, I, I use these a lot, but I really rely on the, the icon and not the name. Intersect. So what intersect is gonna do is gonna give us just the geometry that exists at the overlap. So when I hit intersect, everything goes away except for those pieces on the inside. So there we got a nice little end table. So I started thinking, well, what if I want to make something bigger? What if I want to make like a big, like a dining table or something like that? I can do that with the same profile. So I'm going to copy this, I mean, our copy, I'm just going to stick it over here. I'm just holding on to this copy in case I decide I want to do something different. I'm going to come in here. Um, so one thing I could do is I could just grab the whole thing and scale it. Um, that would work. The downside of that, of course, is now everything's bigger, right? So the legs are a different size. This, the details around the edge are going to all be a different size. So that's not the ideal solution here. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to actually come into this group and I'm going to grab just this piece right here. So I do a select left to right, and that gets me just the lines on the edge. So the top two lines and everything over aren't selected. And now I can go to move. I can take this and I can say, oh, I want to make this like uh, 12 inches bigger. So I'm just going to tell 12 inch, boom. And now I got a wider profile. 
Uh, if it's a if it's a dining table, it's going to be taller as well, probably. So what I'll do with that is grab this right here, go to move, and I'll move this up. So maybe I'll move this up like uh, another four inches. All right. So once I get big like this, the, the these table these legs, which are very delicate here already, are starting to look a little bit a little too delicate. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to save myself some work. I'm going to cut this in half. And, uh, you know, I'll just do this and get rid of one leg altogether. That way I only have to fix one leg and I can use this line that I created at the middle to copy it over. I'm going to grab this line, this line, this line, which is all the way down thanks to weld. And I'm just going to go to move and take it and make it, I don't make it huge. I'll make like, you know, big monster leg like that, but maybe we'll make it like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch wider, something like that. About five eighths, that looks nice. All right, once I've got that, now I can come in here and do a select of the pieces that make up that leg, rotate, go here, hit my up arrow to get my blue, option, copy that over here. It did just copy the lines. I could actually could have just cut that there, put a line there, but uh, it's easy enough to come over here, do this, this, this. All right, so that's one of the pieces I'm gonna to wanna to use. I'm gonna copy this, option copy to rotate it. And now I'm gonna come in here, and I said this is gonna be like a dining table, so we actually, you know, I don't wanna square, I wanna make this bigger. So maybe we'll make this like three feet longer, so 36, like that. And now we can go about the same, same way we did, same thing we did before. I'll just take this, run it along like this, come in here, Grab this, run through like this. And with that same profile, a couple edits, we can do the same thing, grab both of these, hit intersect, and there we go. I got a different table, very, I mean, they could be a set, right? Maybe this is a serving table off on the side, and then this is the dining table. Um, it's not huge, but we could you'd see how it could go through that same process with the same geometry. So look at these legs. They're different sizes, they're different widths, but they are, same geometry i mean they're the exact same well they're not the exact same arc since i stretch it upwards but they go together still so using that same profile so that you know what we start with we start with just this half of the piece we created two tables in a couple minutes using solid tools and a couple of editing tools so it wasn't too far from the video some of you have seen before it was, it was like five years ago or something like that we did that video but um, still, really good information in there, good way to do stuff, and uh, I just thought there was a little more we could get out of it. Plus a couple tips in there, um, welding your arcs. You notice on, this, on the second one I made, this, this, this guy right here, <laughs> uh, didn't have those breaks in the legs because we welded the lines first. So something else to think about. Um, I'm interested if you guys have ever done that. Have you guys made uh any furniture from solid tools like that let me know down in the comments down below if you like this video go ahead and click like down below and if you haven't already please subscribe we create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe most importantly though, like i said please leave us a comment let us know what you think of this video let's know if you watched the original let's know if you think this is better than the original this is like a, a remake this is a soft reboot we're doing on this video um, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.